Wait! Oh, great! Oh, how I love Game of Thrones! Set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Why am I doing menial tasks? Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains. Questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your liege lord some wine. No! Right, thanks. You're welcome. No wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norrin while you serve the lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. You'd better watch your tongue, Owen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse. More than you, obviously! See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. Then take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Crap! But what about... Too fast, ha! Huh? Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Oh, God! You understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear. The North Grove must never be lost. Got it! It's those foresters! Now go. On your honor, you must do it. It's for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Uh. Uh. We love uh. them. Saiyan in the universe! You thought you beat me when you went Super Saiyan God! But surprise! Now I must Super Saiyan God too! And now I'll beat you 
until you're black and blue. Final flash! Big Bang attack! My lyrical bars are over 9,000! <laughs> I really should get a record deal for all of this. You can call me the Fresh Prince of All Saiyans. Yum, bacon! That's father's car. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you. No, me. you move along, jerk. Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. HA! <laughs> Super Saiyan speed. Should I spare you? Hmm. Decisions, decision. I guess I'll let you live. For now. Thank you. Lord White Hill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. survived your sister she hid I tried to stop them
I'll kill the men who did this. This art style, though! It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Don't just stand there! Give the guy a Zinju Bean! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <laughs> Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's... Unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Lord Forrester. It was kind of looks like my dad! Oh, how I miss him. Forget the good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Smart, he would reveal himself. Oh, I have to? Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. Oh, all right. Him. You're sounding like Bulma now. Your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. 
Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland, for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. He called me a what? Did he just call me a Yamcha? They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? Your business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men know over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I am so going I've to kill you now! For this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, this guy again. I really should have used a final flash on you. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment, and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. It's Ethan over! It's over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Bend the knee? Ha! I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay, let's see what's in here.
must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Mm, this better not be another prank! One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something... Oh, crap! Us. Whenever Bulma says, let's talk, it ends up badly. Good luck. I don't need luck. Oh, Peter Dinklage! This oh, game has just Marjorie. gotten 9,000 times better! Lord Tyrion, Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Is this a trick question? Crap! I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounding like Boma when we first met. And over in my... <laughs> I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Uh. That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't Is it that lady. dire? Now help me! King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Please, Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... If Cersei finds out, I'll shoot her with a Gallic gun! Now help me! Let's play a little game, shall we? 
Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy, or with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. Further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen. There. Hear that? Is there an option to shoot him with a key blast? I really want to shoot him with a key blast. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Who? Thought you were Yamcha for a second. Lord Ethan. Miss. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. A thief! Oh, you're lucky I'm not a bad guy anymore. Fear for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Coward! It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right! He speaks He's truth! Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day! <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Yes, no. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <coughs> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I guess I'll let you live. To the wall it is! Sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No! Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! <clears throat> Ah, my type of soldier. Wrong. I did no dogs can hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision.
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a saying by his toe. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I'm not scared! Let him come to the Great Hall! I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You will lead us into ruin! I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. I'd hoped for better from you, my lord. See, that's why I didn't pick you. Ha! Asher is volatile, but that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. <laughs> That's the what the kid team. deserved. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Um, I suppose. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Hmm, I'll take that. I'm still with the king, I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. Oh, cry me a river! I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Be here for you if you ever. Ah, oh, crap! When Bulma walked in like that, I found out I was going to be a father in nine months. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. Great! If you now it's time to get the Dragon Balls! Trunks! Get the ship ready! Be willing to help you. What are you looking at? Chump. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? You mean Lord King! Ramsay. Welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little Lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this! Look at you! What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton. Warden of the North. 
Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. You're lucky I'm trying to get the good ending. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Kills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood. HALF?! We'll Where's the key blast to the oh, face button?! Half of will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. This guy reminds me of Frieza! I like the man you trust. I shun Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. You've gone too Let long, her go! Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Wow! Wow! I can't believe this! Holy crap! Bulma, get the popcorn! Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh no! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Ethan! Come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. Oh, no! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the maester quickly! You brought this on yourself. Come on, Please! Now! Stop! Don't let him take no! me! You will not take Stop him! Stop no, help me! Ryan, please! No! no! Ryan! Ethan? Oh, my son. <laughs> well, that was fun. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll be playing more once Kakarot gets back. If you haven't already, subscribe! Oh, and like and tell your friends. You don't want to be a Yamcha now, do you?